Palmer's Alive to Die presents... Lungs. Lums was founded in 1956 in Miami Beach, Florida, by Stewart and Clifford S. Perlman I, when they purchased Lums Hot Dog Stand for $10,000. Over the next few years, the Perlman brothers opened three additional Lums restaurants, for a total of four by 1961. Clifford Perlman, in addition to owning Lums, had been serving as the president of Southernwood Industries Incorporated, resigned the position to work full-time for Lums. Under the brothers, Lums began aggressively expanding and franchising, the signature item was hot dogs steamed in beer the specialty cost just 0.35 cent. An extra nickel got you sherry flavored sauerkraut on top. The simple menu also offered fried seafood, hot roast beef sandwiches, a submarine and burgers. The international beer selection was another unique hook, as one could wash down those hot dogs with brews from Japan, Denmark, Mexico, Ireland, Germany and the Philippines. This was far from common in a big chain in the late 1960s. In 1969, the Perlmans were taking their pioneering fast casual franchise public on the New York Stock Exchange. At its height, the Lums fast food chain claimed 450 locations around the country, as far as Hawaii and Puerto Rico. It's no wonder the company was a hit. Lums Incorporated purchased Caesars Palace for $60 million in 1969. At that time, Caesars was a 500-room hotel casino on the Las Vegas Strip. The food operations of Lums Incorporated were sold in 1971 to John E. Brown, then chairman of Kentucky Fried Chicken, along with a group of investors. At the time of sale, the company owned and franchised 400 stores in the continental U.S., Hawaii, Puerto Rico, and Europe. Brown sought to improve the menu and searched America for the perfect hamburger. In 1971, Brown bought Ollie Glacian House's Ollie Burger recipe for $1 million equivalent to $7,225,965 in 2022, along with stock in the new company and a 10-year contract for $50,000 a year to appear as the official spokesperson of the Ollie Burger on behalf of Lums. Like most Americans and American companies Lums had bicentennial fever around 1976. This children's stars and stripes menu offers up Ben Franklinfurters and Alexander Hamburgers. No, they were not cooked in beer. Comedian Milton Berle starred in commercials for the chain, taking pies to the face and dressing in drag. In 1978, Wienervault Holdings, AG, a Swiss holding company and parent of the Wienervault restaurant chain, under the direction of Friedrich Jahn, purchased the 273 restaurant chain from Brown. Wiener Vault had overextended itself and was forced to file for bankruptcy in 1982. Two young controlled Lums franchises were also forced to close all of their 70 Lums locations and file for bankruptcy. The original Lums locations closed in 1983. For a time, there was only one Lums operating, in Bellevue, Nebraska. In 2010 alums opened in Seekonk, Massachusetts, but later closed, leaving the Nebraska restaurant as the sole location. The Bellevue location closed on May 28, 2017. I am crazy about Lums Gourmet Burger, green peppers, mushrooms. Ay, 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 I love the Ali Burger. Don't nobody move until I get my bacon burger. All Lums Burgers are cooked to order. All choice beef? <laughs> Maybe Lums will name one after me. Say you already have, Mr. Burrow. That's why they're called hamburgers. Lums, no one else will give you more. If you have any fond memories, please indicate it at the comments below. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and like.